moving right and the Democrats embracing ideas that once were considered political suicide. As if to prove the point, last night's Democratic debate found five presidential contenders at various points promoting socialism, suggesting black lives may have more value than all lives, and advocating free health care for illegal immigrants. Here's a quick sampling of some of those moments. How can any kind of socialist win a general election in the United States? Well, we're going to win because first we're going to explain what democratic socialism is. I think we should look to countries like Denmark, like Sweden and Norway and learn from what they have accomplished for their working people. You don't consider yourself a capitalist, though. I believe in a society where all people do well, not just a handful of billionaires. What we have to do every so often in America, which is save capitalism from itself. And I think what Senator Sanders is saying certainly makes sense in the terms of the inequality that we have. Do black lives matter or do all lives matter? Let's put that question to Senator Sanders. Black lives matter. Without the 2008 bailout, the U.S. was possibly days away from a complete meltdown. Despite that, you still voted against it. As president, would you stand by your principles if it risked the country's financial stability? No, I would not have let the economy collapse. Senator Sanders, you've mentioned a couple of times you do have a plan to make public colleges free for everyone. Do you think taxpayers should pick up the tab for wealthy children? Every kid in this country should be able to get a high school education regardless of the income of their family. I think we have to say that is true for everybody going to college. Senators, uh, Senator Sanders' plan to expand Social Security, to make Medicare available to all Americans, is that something that you would support? And if not, why not? I will focus on helping those people who need it the most. Carly Fiorina, the first female CEO of a Fortune 50 company, argues if the government requires paid leave, it will force small businesses to, quote, hire fewer people and create fewer jobs. And I think this is... This is typical Republican scare tactics. Secretary Clinton, even many people who agree with you might say, look, this is very hard to do, especially in today's day and age. There are so many people who say, really, another government program? I know we can afford it because we're going to make the wealthy pay for it. That is Thank the you. way to get Senator it done. Senator. Joining us tonight with their reactions.